Hey everyone, this is Rajendra and here. In this video, we're gonna learn how to fetch the stock code from OpenAlgo and we're gonna transmit this to Telegram as an alert to a public channel. Uh, every 15 seconds once, we're gonna transmit the alert without writing a single line of code. So let's learn this, how to implement this simple workflow automation using NA10. So in my case, already OpenAlgo is running. Right. And uh, also NI10 is running under port 5678. So ensure that your uh, NI10 is running here. Uh, if in case you don't know how to install the NI10, so please refer the down below link, which I had given the link for how to configure NI10. And uh, uh, we have this, what we're going to do here is like, we're going to use a NI10 uh, as a workflow. We're going to create a simple trading workflow. Uh, we're going to use OpenAlgo API to uh, ask for codes to open algo and open algo in turn fetches the codes from using the broker api and what are the codes that we had fetched we're gonna send it back to ni10 workflow from here we're gonna transmit to the telegram that's what we're gonna do in uh, in this uh, tutorial so let's go and create a new workflow here i'll go to ni10 i'm gonna create a new workflow and uh, first step is to create an uh, schedule trigger because we're gonna schedule every 15 seconds we're gonna uh, send uh, uh, automation so I'll go and click on uh, schedule trigger, right? So here I'm going to select like uh, seconds and I'm going to select as like 15 seconds. So every 15 seconds, I'm going to create a new trigger. And uh, whenever this uh, every 15 seconds is getting triggered, I want to fetch the codes. So in order to fetch the codes, I'm going to go to the open algo dashboard. So uh, let me go to the OpenAlgo dashboard from here. I'm going to go to the documentation. So let me get the documentation here. And from the documentation, I'm going to scroll down to the API documentation, data API codes. So uh, it's a post codes. This is the endpoint URL. I'm going to fetch the endpoint URL over here. I'll go to the workflow automation. From here, I'm going to click on, uh, uh, I'm going to add a uh, new node. And uh, here, I'm going to type HTTP. If in case, if I want to make any HTTP request, so here I'll mention that the po uh, method is like, uh, it's a post request, I'm pasting the endpoint URL, authentication is none, query parameters are none, send headers are none, but we're gonna transmit the body. Let's say I want to get the codes of uh, State Bank of India itself. And uh, here I'm gonna send the body content type as JSON and uh, I'm gonna use JSON over here under specific body. So I'll go to the codes, here is a sample message. I'm going to fetch for uh, State Bank of India, which belongs to the Exchange NSC. So let's copy and uh, paste the value here. Of course, I have to get the OpenAlgo API key. So I'm going to get the OpenAlgo API key from the OpenAlgo itself. So I'll go to the uh, profile section. From here, I'll go to the API key. Let me copy the API key. And then uh, if in case if you want to see, you can see the API key. And I'll go back to the workflow, paste the uh, automation over here right so of course there's a small comma over here let me remove that that's a kind of a typo anyways so once this is done we can also test this step whether it's getting proper output or not let's test this out so if you are getting this bid and ask codes that means you are in the right path you are able to fetch the data from open algo from your broker so now we are getting this data so among that the last traded price we are going to transmit to open algo maybe last traded price and volume we will transmit uh, to telegram right so let's go back to the canvas i'm going to add a new node let's call that node as like telegram so here is the telegram and under telegram i'm gonna create an uh, a message right so i'm gonna send a message over here so let's say we have uh, something like in uh, send a message So a lot of message actions are there. Probably what I want to do is like, I want to send a message. There's a send an uh, chat action, send a text message. Maybe I'll, I'll use the send a text message, right? And obviously uh, credentials to be connected with like a Telegram account. I already created a Telegram account, which I am having credential, but I'm gonna create, get a new credentials over here. So I'll click on create a new credential. So I have to create an a bot access token is what I need to create for that. I need a Telegram account. So let's go to Telegram from here. I'll let me go and uh, get the bot father. So you just simply type at bot father from here. You can go and uh, 
create a bot. So I'm going to say like new bot. So I'm going to create a new bot over here. Oops, I cannot create more than new bot. So I, I'm already having an existing bot over here, right? So here is my existing bot. Let me copy this access token. Um, so that we will not be, I will be able to configure this. So I create an access token. Otherwise you have to create using uh, in the at bother uh, at, at bot father, you have to go and create a new bot. I'll also show you the procedure here. So you just say add new bot and uh, you may have to give a bot name and you also have to choose a bot name, username, which should end with uh, a bot. So in my case, I had given like Ami bot 2025 underscore bot. That's my bot name. And uh, let me also copy this, right? So here is my access token, which I had already configured in my NA10. Okay, let's get back and let's save this. So it's testing, it's checking whether the API token is, I mean, uh, access token is valid or not. It says the like, connection tested successfully. And let's go back, let's just close this. That's Telegram account too. And uh, the operation, what I want to do is like, I want to send a message, right? And the chat ID is nothing but my channel ID. I'm gonna go and create a new channel. It could be a channel ID or it could be your, uh, a chat ID of your group. The group can be public group or a private group. Channel can be public channel or private channel. It doesn't matter, but you have to go and figure out your chat ID. Let me go and show you how you can figure it out. So I'm going to create a new channel over here. Let's create a new channel. I'll give a channel name like N8N workflow. That's a channel name. Let me click on create. It's going to be a public channel and I'm going to give a name like N8N workflow flow that's a name okay maybe i'll add like 25 it says like this link is available so n i10 workflow 25 that's my channel name and i'll just save this along with that we also had to add our bot as a member i'll say like at the rate and then i'll put my bot name ami bot 2025 underscore bot this is a bot username you should be able to see the bot name over here select that and add it and once you added the bot you also make it as an admin and save this. Now the bot can transmit messages. It has all the provision to uh, send messages from wherever it want to. So uh, yes, the configuration has been done. So our, uh, if you go to the channel, let's say like I'll go to the channel settings. So you should be able to see this channel name over here and uh, probably the channel name uh, is gonna be your uh, uh, chat ID. If it's a public channel, the chat ID is simple. So you have to simply say like at the rate uh, N8N workflow and the text. Now what I'm going to send is like, uh, I'm going to say like price alert of SBIN uh, or else I'm going to say like LTP, LTP price of uh, SBIN is, so I'm going to have this uh, LTP. I'm going to do a drag and drop to that, right? So the LTP price of state bank is, so this is how it will be looking like. And probably the next line, I'm gonna say something like, I'm also gonna get the timestamp as well. We also having this timestamp. Timestamp. This timestamp we are getting from uh, schedule trigger at what time we are able to fetch it. So that is from the schedule trigger, we are able to get the time. So output looks something like this, right? That is what it is gonna be. Or uh, maybe you can, uh, I think for this, uh, right now, this is more than enough. Let's test this out, whether it's going to work out or not. If I'm going to test this up, this, this step, it says like, uh, check perhaps your credentials. Bot is not a member of this channel chat. I am sure I had added as a bot as an uh, admin. Let me go and check. So it has bot as an admin here, right? So bot has been added as an admin. Here is the channel settings. It's already a public channel, by the way. So this is the N810 workflow 25. Maybe I think that is what I should have missed it out. So it's it's not the channel name. Probably I should have used the, uh, if I go to the public, here you can get the link. This is the username of the channel. This is a chat ID of the channel as well. So better I'll just go and configure the channel again. So basically the chat ID is gonna be like, something like this. Let's go and test this out. This is sending this message, successful message I'm able to get. 
which means if i go to the channel i should be seeing this message over here ltp price of state bank of india is 688.8 so now what we are going to do is like we want to activate the workflow and check whether every 15 second once are we getting this data or not so let's go back to the canvas right so everything works fine so let's uh, trigger the test workflow you see that the, the entire workflow is getting triggered the workflow executed successfully and which means i should have been able to get the latest price from the open algo uh, basically your uh, connected brokers data is fetched using open algo and it is coming to ni10 and from an ni10 it is transmitting to uh, telegram as an alert so now what we are going to do here is like we're going to activate the alert so we're going to activate the workspace so now every 15 second once we should be start getting the uh, workflow you can see that the latest trigger is 1323 uh, but let's see every 15 second once now from here onwards we should start getting the uh, automated alerts right as you see it's keep coming in right you can see that the fourth alert has been came probably another 15 seconds one we should start getting in another alert as well exactly you can see that uh, 5330 was the last alert and then uh, 5345 another 15 seconds once uh, it is also transmitting those alerts exactly and all these things we are able to do without writing a single line of code that's a power of open algo and that's a power of n8n right so i'm sure you would have learned something very interesting so i'm sure a lot more complex workflows you can create with n8n stay tuned for uh, more tutorial on uh, open algo and uh, n8n uh, no code and low code workflows see you soon thank you bye bye